Thank you. Yes, I'm obviously overly excited to be here today and tell you a bit about Community Square, um, our community for open source community managers. Um, if you look at the schedule, I was supposed to be here today with my colleague Jan Klippe from Uhuru Tech. He couldn't make it today, so that's why I'm on my own, but that's okay. Um, my name is Ariane Segelitz Karsten. I am a business development manager at Cloud and Heat Technologies, and I'm also the community manager of Yauk, which is an open source project. Now, before I tell you about what we do at Community Square, let's have a look at this cute, friendly looking little mushroom, and I will tell you a bit more about why we picked this as our logo or like our spirit creature, if you will. When we look at the forests and the mushrooms, we can see that mushrooms form this very vast, impressive um, network throughout the woods. They connect trees and bushes and other plants, um, and not only that, they help them exchange information. Um, trees can actually use mushrooms to communicate, to warn each other in case of you know, parasites or pests or something. And then the mushroom also provides the trees with nutrients, water, and can even um, eliminate toxics if there are any. So what the mushroom does is they help to create this very healthy environment where the trees can thrive and grow and just you know, be in their best shape. Um, people even call this the wood wide web, which is a very cute thing. Um, and I think we can say that mushrooms are doing a pretty important job. But what does that have to do with open source communities and open source community, community management? When we look at the open source landscape, we can see that there is a growing number of open source projects, obviously, a growing number of people contributing to them. And we believe that whenever there is that many people coming together to work on something so special and meaningful, we also need this sense of togetherness, the sense of connection, a true community, that is a safe space, a healthy space where everyone feels comfortable and can really focus on the work. Now the thing is, those environments, they're not just there. They're not just happening, they're not a given thing, they have to be established. And we also know, and we've heard about it today, that the workload of developers is immense, weekend work, stuff like that. And while they may have wishes and ideas for the communities, they just cannot make that a priority. And that is why more and more open source projects now realize, okay, we might need a dedicated person for that, and that is the community manager. And now if you look at the mushroom, this is kind of a nice analogy, because you know the mushrooms make sure everyone is connected, and kind of that is what the community manager does, aside other things, making sure that everyone is in a good, thriving environment. And that sounds very metaphorical, maybe even a bit poetic, but there is this one burning question, and that is, what exactly do community managers do? This is something that I've been asking myself, that I'm sometimes, even being a community manager, I'm still asking that myself. Um, I'm like personally facing a lot of challenges, and that is a very general thing. We are also wondering, what are the secrets of leveraging a welcoming environment for contributors? And I wish I could show you the answer on that on the next slide. I cannot, unfortunately, but I can show you our approach to that, and that is Community Square, which is our professional network of open source community managers. Um, we set this up in October last year, so it's a very new project, and it was kind of a happy accident. Um, so together with Jan and Max from Uhuru Tech and Eduard from the Sovereign Cloud Stack, we had a first call because I, I was writing an issue to the Yau community that um, Jan and Max are also part of. I wrote, hey, what are your wishes? What are your dreams? What do you want to have for the community? I got quite a, a few interesting answers. And so Jan saw the opportunity and said, hey, I think Eduard is kind of doing the same thing at the Sovereign Cloud Stack. I think you, should, you two should talk. And so we had this very first call and we were just, I think talking for over an hour, just got so lost in that topic because there was so much to discuss, so many questions that we had. And we realized, okay, this is something that we should do on a regular basis. And we also want to have more people on board because the more people we have to share their experiences, the better and the more we can all learn. And so this is why we decided uh, to create Community Square. Now, don't get me wrong, we are not 
trying to reinvent the wheel, wheel here. We are not working on that very secret formula that has never been out there or something. What we want to do is really share best practices, discuss strategies, and join forces to foster vivid open source communities. Um, we are also no gurus. We are no experts in that sense yet. Maybe we will be one day, who knows? Um, we are just people, like human beings, who have this genuine curiosity and passion for open source community management. And this is really what connects us. And in fact, we are not even all community managers. So it's really just people coming together and talking about the topic. And stuff we've discussed so far, um, we realized we should start at the very root, and that is talking about the role of the community manager. For example, we talked about do's and don'ts. We talked about value propositions, um, which was incredibly helpful also for me. And then we also talked about more practical stuff, like hackathon organization, which was also very interesting. And I can also imagine that we will go back to these topics if we have more people on board, start those discussions over, because we would be super excited to just hear from other people what they think about all of those things. Um, all right. Showing the results of those discussions would be a bit too much, but I think you get an idea of what we do. The very important thing here is we do not have a strict agenda or something. We have not like this action plan with all of those topics. It's very organic, very random even sometimes. Um, I'm not saying we don't have structure or something, but it's really just no enforcement, no, no strict agenda. And most important, um, no judgment. It's a judgment-free zone where everyone can come and just ask questions and, and you know, share their experiences. So with that being said, um, I'm inviting you to join our community square again. This is a round that is open for everyone. You do not have to be an open source community manager. As long as you have interest in that topic, that is enough. That's perfectly fine. What we want to do in the next weeks and months is certainly document our learnings, um, being able to share them with global FOSS communities. We want to identify more questions and find answers to them. We have a huge backlog already. I think there is a lot we can talk about. Uh, and one very important thing is also that we help each other with individual issues as community managers. Um, that is something that I recognize myself. Sometimes I have like questions and issues and I don't know who to talk to because I don't want to you know, go to the developers and cry about community management because they are so focused on their work and I'm trying, trying to take the load off their shoulders. So sometimes it feels like a little community manager, self-help group actually, and that is also a very uh, beautiful and helpful thing. So if you want to join, now currently we are meeting Fridays 2 to 3 p.m. fortnightly. I realize that it's very close to the weekend and we are completely flexible with that. This is what, what was working for us in the past months. But if you join, we are very happy to find a new slot that is convenient for as many people as possible. Currently, all our resources are on Codeberg. Left the link there, as well as the QR code to the information. And I guess the easiest thing would just to hop into our matrix, matrix chat, say hi, introduce yourself, and then join the next meeting. Also, there is no commitment in that sense. Like, if you join one meeting, you do not have to come every day. If you join once and then say, oh God, I'm busy for the next six months, and then come back, that is perfectly fine. This is very low barrier, very relaxed, that's the most important thing. Everything is stressful enough, so. With that being said, we would be very happy to see some of you there. If you have any questions, hop into the chat, ask me, ask my colleagues Max over here, um, and that's it, thank you.